Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. My name is Lonnie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, October 19th, 2022. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. Comfortably, just taking a big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, Noticing how the body expands as you breathe out, just watching the body soften as you gently close the eyes. And rather than the mind leading the breath, allow the breath to lead the mind. Notice the sensation of the breath. This brain break sure are helpful. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Addict, how was your weekend? It was good until Sunday because a storm hit my house and all my power went out. Oh, so what do you do? We had to ignite a bunch of candles, but at least my house smelled really good. Whenever I light up candles, my house instantly smells better. Yep, whenever I ignite candles, I always love how it smells. See you tomorrow, tomorrow word, word of the day. day. Thanks for the great new word. Now let's go to history with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Hello, Patriots. Today in history on October 18, 1871, Orville Wright was born. Orville Wright is known for inventing the first successful airplane with his brother, Wilbur Wright. He is an inventor and aviator. An aviator is the aircraft pilot responsible for bringing an aircraft from one point to another safely and on time. Him and his brother failed many times, but that didn't stop him. When he invented his plane, it worked so well that the plane was sold to the U.S. Army. Their extraordinary success led to contracts in both Europe and the United States, and they soon became wealthy business owners. It is so inspiring how he started from only playing with toy planes to making a real airplane that actually flies. Now let's see what's cooking with Aiden. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is corn dog, turkey, ham and cheese sandwich, potato fries, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Aiden, I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, the instructional software challenge is still going on and ends tomorrow. Let's keep flying through those lessons with 80% or higher before this challenge is over. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Students, our candy drive ends tomorrow. You have one day left to bring in bags of wrapped candy to be donated at the fall festival. Students in class with the most candy donated will win pizza and ice cream party, and the teachers of the class with the most candy donated will win lunch on admin and a free planning period. The school book fair is coming up. It'll take place October 24th to October 29th. Students can bring in cash or use e-wallet for no credit cards. Please look at your schedule when it's your time to go to the book fair. The fall festival is coming up. It will be on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be lots of Halloween activities and the book fair will also be there. Pre-sales tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on My School Bugs. Make sure to buy your tickets now. Scholars, make sure to purchase your boograms before October 26th and keep in mind supplies might run out, so get yours now. Sports fans, our boys flag football team has a game against SLAM. This will be a home game at 4 p.m. at Brian Piccolo. Let's go Patriots! Teachers, the Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board Contest is ending. The winners will be announced tomorrow and will win a special prize. I can't wait to see all those boards. The Hispanic Heritage Show is today. I'm so excited for all of you to join us in the journey to Encanto. Doors will open at 5.30 p.m. and tickets will be $5 cash per person at the door. I can't wait to see you all there. K-5th, the Barnyard Dance is coming up. 
It's on Friday, October 28th, and the entry price is $5. I hope you all join us for the ride. Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Destiny. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is a cool 71 degrees Fahrenheit with some showers. In other weather news, this is a common question asked by many people. Do umbrellas attract lightning? The short answer is no. Many believe this because most umbrellas are made of metal, and metal is an awesome conductor. If you didn't know, a conductor is something that allows electrical charge to pass through easily. Lightning strikes have more to do with how tall a structure is and how close it is to other structures. You can consider this weather myth busted. Now let's go to Sophia for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Isabel Valle and Jamar Williams. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Sophia. Patriots, here are your past expectations. I represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for Tuesday's Daily Challenge winners. Congrats to Ms. Newton, Ms. Ayanding Kwa, Mr. Winsoman, Ms. Stone, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Merkel, Ms. Galvez, and Ms. Barrow. You all had the correct answer to Tuesday's daily challenge, which was, two fathers and two sons are in a car, yet there are only three people in the car. How? The correct answer was, in the car there is one grandfather, one father, and one son. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!